Hi everyone, Mary here from Mary from Ireland. I'm a bit throaty this morning, I'm a bit headachey, I'm not feeling great to tell you the truth, all here and the heart pounding. Um, I just want to talk a bit about healing and our mission here. And yeah, last week, oh, whatever night, um, I went up to my room early. I was in my daughter's house and I was speaking to a friend, chatting, typing to a friend who's on a journey and she's in a different uh, country at the moment. And it seems that she is going further back with the ancestors, way, way back to Viking times. And I went, woo, I said, I've been feeling that um, the depth of the last, well, I mean, I always go deep anyway, you know, and it's just weird. But the depth of the last release for me seemed, I felt too strong to be just mine or too strong to be just back to my great grandparents. And I was thinking maybe older ancestors around ancient, you know, ancient, ancient, way, way back. But strong, strong people and some strong spirit guide around me. But we were talking anyway. And next thing, it was as if somebody hit my third eye and I, I couldn't see. I had no mirror beside me, but it felt bang. And it felt as if my real eyes, I was wide awake chatting on Facebook. Um, my real eyes started swapping places and going over and back and reeling. And I looked out, I couldn't see anything. I couldn't, it was all blurred and I couldn't see. And my head, I just felt like closing my eyes. So what I did was this and I just typed, can't talk, something going on with my third eye, have to close my eyes. And I wasn't afraid. This is the thing about it. There was no fear because I always reckon there's a reason for everything and it's about something and I'm safe and protected. So I turned off the phone, I turned off the light and I lay down and Yeah, I couldn't think that I, yeah, I think I put on music in my ears then or something to try and let me drift off. But um, it was just too much. So I turned everything off and I said, just be with me and give me some guidance. So I don't know whether it was that night or the next morning. I think it was the next morning. Um, I thought David and Goliath out of the Bible as if. David, he had a slingshot and David was the good guy and Goliath was the bad guy. And uh, he was a big, big, tall man, it seemingly. And David was a little boy and he just had got his slingshot and a stone and hit Goliath there and Goliath dead, died. And I was just thinking, Jesus, what I felt was just before he died, like, you know, the eyes going over and back in the head and foom. But, um... Then the next day, I saw that David Palmer, the Leo King, was um, offline. He's going through stuff and his thoughts were that he's been at this job 24-7. He has no personal life since 2008. And I went, whoa, okay, David, he's the Leo King, David, David and Goliath. And I said, and I had been thinking it myself, I've said it several times to people, like I'm at this since 2009, 24-7, because I've had a lot of time to myself, thankfully, and I've been journaling, I have about 20 journals, thinking I have to write my book, and all my feelings when I was at counselling, everything written down, I was at it 24-7. And I used to say I had to be fast-tracked. That's why I was taken out and put in a place on my own that I had very few responsibilities. But of course I had, but wouldn't have been as much as I would have had if I was left where I was, put it that way. And it 
the last healing session I had, I said to your woman, she she's on the ancestral healing path as well, as is her mother. And I said, do we ever finish this ancestral stuff? And she said, well, I'm not sure. Um, it could be ongoing forever, she said. And um, But we do get breaks. And, you know, that didn't sit well with me. Even though in the conversation with this girl, there was like, whoa, my goodness, I wonder what happened back before my great-grandfather's time. And then I got hit. Boom. <laughs> so I think I was being... Not curtailed. Woken up, we'll say. Uh, to the fact, now Mary, you have a choice here. Do you want to keep going on at this more and deeper and deeper into the ancestral lines and the country and the history and the energies etc and i said no because i was quite disgusted when i went to texas for a holiday to see my new grandson and spend time with my son and daughter-in-law and i got sick and i was healing now it was very exciting when I got back putting the puzzle pieces together and trying to figure about Germany and what were spirit trying to tell me and I did say that time I could do this forever it's so fantastic but how long like it's great when you can do this forever and it's up 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 and you're bringing in the messages etc etc but do you need to go keep doing the healing like that and what I figure from that happening that day was I have a choice and I've told spirit right like I've said it that I'm done with this healing but I still get drawn back in and I wasn't feeling it deeply enough and I wasn't saying I wasn't putting my boundaries to spirit and saying well I'm really really done with this I'm not doing it anymore and feeling it deeply and then when something comes up no thank you I'm not doing that I have no interest in that. And uh, so that's where I'm at at the moment. No more ancestral healing. I have a life to live. I've done enough. I've been at this since 2009. So that's 10 years. So nearly 11 years. The 5th of the 5th. And I'm done. So the caption of this video is. Healing. And our mission we'll say. So like when does life start you know i have a life to live this was my job for the last 10 years my job before that was having my children rear my children minding the house blah 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 all of what a married stay-at-home mother does um living on a farm with husband and uh, very very busy and joined every community voluntary thing that i was interested in in the local community uh, so i mean very very busy life busy busy enjoyable because i enjoyed doing it but anything i enjoyed i brought more work into the home and i added to the workload which was fun but it was too 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 much so another pattern here you know, I love, 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 love this healing. Uh, you know, how long do you have to keep at it? And this was just a wake-up call. Thank God it wasn't a bigger wake-up call. And I thank the uh, spirit for it. But, um, like, it's still not great. My head is sore. So I know, I know there's energies and I know we're ascending, etc., etc., but what I don't know is I've made up my mind on the ancestral healing. No more. And just be aware, Mary, if there's more presented to you, you're not going there. There are many other people. There are many other people in my family who can take on this. But I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> That's the plan anyway. So then I'm looking through Facebook and I'm looking through YouTube and I'm seeing all these ads for spiritual workshops and spirit and healings and card readings and all of that and I'm there oh am I done with this too so I don't know whether I am or not I do love doing the videos 
of course spirit will guide me as to what i need to do the videos on or what floats my boat that i want to put out there but i won't be killing myself at it um i do it because i enjoy it it does not bring in um monetary gains so i do it because i enjoy doing it and it's exciting and it's enjoyable etc but like that will i come to an end of this as well i don't know but um i like to keep you up to date and let you know where i'm at and uh, i think that's about it it's just a kind of a uh teaching for everybody out there too i i've often said in some of my last videos maybe over the last six months that even the new old will be changing so my new was the last 10 years and this healing journey and the ancestors and all the excitement and then the lows and then the highs but the excitement of linking in with spirit and the coincidences and the synchronicities etc so in the last six months i know that's going to be changing too but i didn't really know what i meant when i said it but i knew it was going to be changing so the healing ancestral journey is done for me i'm not sure whether the personal healing i did come across a workshop the other day it was very cheap the mother wound but after one lesson on that i realized that i had done an awful lot of that and that i just had to change my perspective on the present moment and get a bit of understanding we'll say and uh, understanding and perception of the underlying picture we'll put it that way and that's fine so to me I've done all the healing I can do and I'm going further forward. It's very, this dress is too big for me. <laughs> it's not when I stand up, but when I'm sitting down here like this, it is. Um, so I think I'm done. And now I want to enjoy life and walk a blissful, happy, peaceful path. And I know we will be challenged. And I know life is not going to be hunky-dory and high as a kite and all that. But I'm at the beginning of something new. And I might I feel so tired. I might be taking a rest or a break from online. And then again, I may not. I don't know. <laughs> it's not that I'm burnt out, that I have to go offline. But it's... A lot of things are not floating my boat anymore and they're not interesting me. And then I thought I'm putting pressure on myself to write my book. And I visualized myself taking all my journals and burning them. And it was like, oh God, I weigh it off my shoulders. But I can't do that because all my, I at least have to look through them and write notes as to the order of what everything happened in. So that if I'd ever do feel like making videos to put it all together or writing it down to put it all together, that I will have it there in notes, you know. So I could start working on that. I don't know. And the next bit of good news is that my son and daughter-in-law and my grandson that I went over to visit in Texas are coming home to Ireland for Easter so that was very unexpected because i thought i might see my son he might fly from texas to boston when i go over but now he's coming home for easter they're coming home for easter they're missing ireland badly or he is anyway and of course he wants to show off his grandchild i've the only one i'm the only one that's seen him except my son in boston he flew to texas to meet the, his nephew so um looking forward to that and my australian friend is coming they'll all be here at the same time so a busy um april and before that another grandchild child due my daughter's new baby due the end of february into march i suppose and that'll be busy 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 so you see you know i'm 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 being i'm being shown 
it's about family now and friends and meeting up and trips until about the 15th of May. And then after that, I have no idea. But I do hope to be here by the sea for the summer and be able to walk in the warm sand with my bare feet. We're, going, we're expecting Storm Dennis here today. Well, not today. It's supposed to be tomorrow. But I see the wind getting up and it's raining. And so he may, he may be coming early. <laughs> so that's about it. I'm not sure whether I'll do a video reading or not. I did one yesterday about the two cards. Um um past life and this is the romance of a lifetime and i was letting that go to letting go of any outcome there as well and i got a huge message through a link i click, clicked on this morning and i went okay whatever but I'm, I'm too tired to get excited put it that way too tired to get excited at the moment so i need a rest it's a head rest you know, it's, it's, I know we're all probably going through third eye stuff and heart stuff, but I just feel like I want to close my eyes. So if any of you are the same, just know. Then I met a friend of mine that I hadn't seen for a while and I was explaining what I had felt the other night and she, she had the same, but she was standing behind a counter at work and she said her take on it was she was thinking about issues that weren't, she wasn't in the moment. She was thinking about other issues that she had to deal with outside of work. And this started. And uh, she said, whoa, I better just park them until I'm outside work. And uh, it might be the same with us all. You know, just stay in the moment and don't be thinking too far ahead. And don't be trying to, trying to solve every problem at the same time. And maybe cut back from the work and pull back from the healing you know is is it now time to end the healing and not take on any more or have you more to do or it's just being aware that we have a choice and we have free will and we can make choices in all of this you know how much you've done you know if you have the energy to go further or that you feel you need to do any more and I used to say no stone left unturned. This journey is no stone left unturned. And it's true. So many stones I had to turn over. And there was no skipping steps. But I personally seem, personally seem to be at a stage now that it's break time. And it's not even break. It's done time. And my ancestors used to tell me in different healing sessions, Mary, it's done. It's done. Let it go. It's done. And it was. It was done on some level. But it wasn't done. It hadn't filtered down into my physical life or into my physical body or my physical knowingness that it was done. So if this resonates with any of you, fine. And if not, you'll know how far more you have to go or what your free will is telling you you have to do. I think I'll pull one of these. Can't get that box open. I'll pull the Angels of Light deck and I'll just put my finger into the middle. No, I won't. They have to come out. Put my finger into the middle and read which one comes out. Cooperation. Angel Wisdom suggests that you use your skills and talent for the common good. Eliminate power struggles conflict and competition which come from an ego desire to win cooperation for the highest good promotes harmony and togetherness and draws the best from everyone make it your aim that everyone has a sense of satisfaction from work done then you may you become a spreader of goodwill and harmony pat yourself on the back your angel guidance is to bring people together and explore how you can mutually assist each other your attitude of sharing will ensure that you benefit in your turn for the angels will bless your endeavours. Affirmation, I cooperate with everyone and the sharing, I did say I'm a sharer and that's what I do. And, you know, I don't know what I do be sharing or the impact it has on other people. I do get the odd message. Somebody messaged me the other day and said, Miriam, I, I, you, there's no need to reply. Um, I know you get a lot of messages, but I don't. 
and I don't get a lot of comments and I don't get a lot of feedback. So if you ever feel like feedback, comments, messages, whatever, just do it and thumbs up and share and all of this if it's going to help anybody else by you sharing or you commenting or you giving a thumbs up on YouTube or Facebook or whatever. Uh, feel, feel, if you feel you need to do it, do it. Um, and you can contact me and chat to me and make comments, etc. No problem at all. And uh, if I'm in rest mode, I will get back to you at some stage. Uh, and love and light, I am available for readings um, if you feel drawn as well. And as I say, the busyness is coming up now in uh, the beginning of March, definitely. And I'll keep you posted as to this, these new grandchildren. There's one due in Boston the beginning of March and the one in Ireland the end of February, like. They could come together you wouldn't know so love and light i'll stop talking now and uh, happy valentine's day and we shall talk you talk to you the next time i feel the need to connect